Welcome to Books and Booze, a bookish and wine and juice podcast from two book lovers who have never met. That is the power of the internet. Hey guys, as many of you might know, my co-host Kiara was unfortunate to have her house destroyed in the Sydney floods recently. It was the worst storm in over a century and unfortunately her ceiling collapsed and that is why you may have noticed we've been a little less active in the world of Instagram and although you don't really know that we haven't been recording because we normally try and release at least once every Um, every week and bring you a weekly episode. We haven't had anything to record for a while uh, and she had to move house into a new place while her house basically just gets guts, gut gutted and (laughs) she needs to figure her life out and unfortunately the new place that she's got doesn't have wi-fi so we haven't been able to record, we've got nothing to give you at the moment, Uh, we can't Skype each other So until that's resolved, I decided that I wanted to do something a little bit special for her. This is a surprise, so surprise Kiara. Uh, Me and a couple of our wonderful listeners team together to give you some wishes. Hope you're well and that everything's going smoothly and that soon we'll be back up and running. I hope that you're not too stressed out. I know it must be a super hard time for you right now. Because we didn't have any more content to produce, I decided to reach out to a couple of our favourite listeners that always seem to contact us and engage in conversation with us. So I asked them what are they currently reading and how are they spending their Christmases? So this is a time for our listeners to not only share their love with you, Kiara, but also to recommend us some books for once because we're always recommending them some. So I hope everyone enjoys this little bit of a different episode episode but we do love communicating with you guys and we want to hear from you more often so please do that for us we we really really love talking to you and listening to what books you're enjoying and also when we've recommended you a book and you you've picked it up on our recommendation it's an awesome feeling so enjoy hi jade and kiara jade thanks so much for reaching out i definitely want to send kiara some love um, I'm Rachel. I'm Kiara's Europe trip friend and long distance book buddy. <laughs> Kiara, I'm so sorry about your house and all the stress right before Christmas. I really hope you're back in your home soon and with Wi Fi so that we can get new episodes, of course. Um, so, what am I reading? I have just finished The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker on Audible. It was recommended to me by Kiara and I devoured it. It was my first ever audiobook. Um, and I found it so great to listen to on my commute to work. Such a beautiful love story set in Alaska, which I knew nothing about before I read this book, Um, and it was really good on audiobook as well. Uh, Alongside that, I was reading The Final Girls by Riley Sager. Um, I think I picked that one up from the podcast as well, Um, and I finished The Last Time I Lied a little while ago and thought it was okay, Um, but this one isn't gripping me as much. Um, as when I was listening to The Simple Wild. So I'll see how I go with that. Um, Since finishing The Simple Wild, I started This Is How It Always Is by Laurie Frankel just really recently and just this morning um, on Audible as well. Actually, sorry, sorry, that was on Libby, the library um, audio app. Um, And on Netflix, I watched a couple of cheesy chick flick um, like Christmas movies, which I actually loved. Uh, The Princess Switch with... um, who's oh no I've forgotten who it is in it but it's pretty cute um, movie Um, and the holiday calendar as well which was a Christmas movie Um, both really good for a lazy afternoon Um, and over Christmas I'll have about nine days off of work which I'm super looking forward to so amongst spending a few days with family I plan to read Pieces of Her by Karen Slaughter Something in the Water by Catherine Steadman and potentially one day in December by Josie Silver this month's Reese Witherspoon read. Um, And I might even read The Barefoot Investor again because I really need to get my finances back on track after Christmas. Uh, So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for having me, girls. I really love the podcast. I listen to every episode. Um, Keep up the awesome work. I love having my TBR list just continuously growing, Um, and I get so many recommendations from books and booze. So, yeah, I love it. 
Um, and Kiara and Mitch, keep on keeping on. I'm sure some luck is around the corner for you. All right, thanks. Bye. Hey, Kiara, this is James from Clutch Kitten Gaming, and I wanted to wish you my best as you and your family have been dealing with the insane flooding in Sydney. Uh, my thoughts and prayers definitely go out to you. Just from what I've seen on Instagram, it seems like a super tough situation, so hopefully you guys can get back to normal soon. Uh, I believe I'm also supposed to mention something about a book I've been reading lately. Honestly, I'm in the middle of like four books, so I'll mention two. Uh, I started The Butterfly Garden a little while back, per the Books and Booze podcast recommendation. I'm also in the middle of The Little Friend by Donna Tart. Uh, she wrote The Secret History and The Goldfinch as well, which are two of my favorite books. The Little Friend is a story about a young boy's death and all this mystery around the whole situation. I'm only about a quarter of the way through the book, but I love how Donna Tart puts all this detail into the books and just really brings you into her world. Anyways, I wish you all the best again, Kiara. It's great hearing both you and Jade on the podcast, so hopefully you'll have Wi-Fi soon and can be back on. Hey guys, it's Katie from At What Katie Read Next. Um, I just wanted to send a big shout out, big virtual love and hugs to Kiara and the family and hope that you guys are doing okay now that you've um, had that awful storm come through. We didn't get it much down here in Wollongong. We're about an hour south, hour and a half south of where you are. Um, but yeah, sending you big love. Can't wait to have you guys back together on uh, Books and Booze on your podcast together. Um, but yeah, sending big love to you and your fam. And we hope to hear, to hope to see you soon. Um, and I guess Jade wanted to know what I was reading now. I'm reading um, The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. Um, I don't know if anybody has read this one. Um, so far, it's really it's quite good. I did read another book just today, sort of on top of it, a new book by Iris Gray. She's a rom-com indie author and her new hotshot doc was out today and it was it was pretty good um quite enjoyed that one I must say but yeah I'm really enjoying the death of Mrs Westaway I do enjoy anything that Ruth Ware writes she's pretty a fabulous writer um and I guess to on Netflix if anybody has watched Making a Murderer that is like insane the injustice system over there is just it it, it, it does my head in does absolutely does my head in um but it is well worth the watch it's in two parts hopefully there'll be a third part coming out but it's definitely if you like true crime which i know you jade you love it and i don't know if you've watched it but um yeah goodness gracious it really did my head in um it's so unjust and bobby dassey totally did it totally did it bobby dassey and Teresa holbuck's ex-boyfriend that's my my vote um anyway love you girls love your podcasts love everybody that's on this book community it's um it's really special really enjoy it all the recommendations my to be read pile is growing ever so big but that's quite okay um but yeah Thanks, girls, so much. And, Jade, I cannot wait to the 11th of December when your bloody book gets to me from America. Jeez Louise, it's taking forever, but I cannot wait. Don't worry, I will post about it. You will see it. Um, Anybody who wants to follow me, please do. It's at underscore what Katie read next underscore. Um, If not, there's no stress. But just be happy, be reading, smile, be kind. Yeah, and enjoy. Take care, guys. Bye. Hey, ladies. Just sending my best book wishes your way. I wanted to say hi. This is Chandra with Where the Reader Grows. So sorry to hear about the flooding that's going on in Sydney, and I really hope that everything settles down and you're back to normal very, very soon so you can enjoy the rest of the holiday season. I just got done reading My Sister is a Serial Killer, and let me tell you, for a book that short, it was amazing. The ending is probably one of the best I've read in a really long time. And I actually had to go back and read it a couple times to make sure I knew exactly what was going on. And thank God for the book community so I could chat with other people who have read the book. And so we could fangirl over it a little bit. 
Um, my mainstay go-to is horror, but mostly thrillers lately, psychological thrillers. And while I know that it happens to kind of get a little redundant, when the book surprises you, oh my God, it's probably one of the best feelings in the world. I mean, books just go that way, don't they? Um, but next up, I'm reading my favorite Half Night Stand because uh, I need something a little light and fluffy um, to ease my mind. And then Straight to the Craftsman by uh, Sharon Bolton because I heard that one's amazing as well. Um, if you haven't watched um, a, house, a Haunting of House Hill, I completely suggest that you do. It's nothing like you expect it's going to be. Um, but I did just get done watching Dumpling, and let me tell you, cute, adorable, and God, I'm a fan of Dolly Parton, and that's my only country besides Kenny Rogers. But don't tell anyone I said that. <laughs> anyway, sending my best wishes to everyone out there. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday season, and hopefully we'll chat soon. Love you all. Bye. Hi, this is Liz uh, of Liz Fenton and Lisa Steinke. Just wanted to send a quick little note and say that we're thinking of you and sending some love. What I'm reading right now, I've actually two books I've really enjoyed recently. One of them is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. Uh, it's really charming and it was a really great palate cleanser uh, for some of the darker stuff I had been reading. And then also um, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. doesn't come out for a couple months, but I highly recommend that you pick it up when it does it's a uh, fresh and unique and i really really enjoyed it so anyway again sending you love from san diego and um we'll talk soon hi kiara it's anna the author of the spike game i'm currently reading out by natsuro carino which is a really great japanese crime novel i just wanted to send my love and i hope you're doing okay Hey everybody, this is Samantha Evans from the Unusual Universe podcast. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about a book that I just finished. It's called Fantastic Land. Uh, Fantastic Land is by Mike Brockovan, and it is just a fabulous read for anybody who likes horror, thriller. Um, it, it's very psychological. It had uh, a lot of everything. It had a little bit of love. It had a little, a lot of violence. <laughs> it had natural disasters. It had, you know, people going against each other. It had everything. So basically, Fantastic Land is what I would like to describe as uh, Disneyland meets Lord of the Flies. So basically, a large storm hits the Gulf of Florida, and Fantastic Land is a theme park that is situated um, right where the storm hits, and uh, emergency workers aren't able to get to the people that work in Fantastic Land for, I think it ends up being about five weeks, and the story follows all the different people in the park, uh, all the different people that worked in the different uh, sections of the park. So there's people that worked in superhero section, people that worked in like the fairy section, people that worked in the pirate section, and then maintenance workers and everything else. And it just tells everybody's side of the story. Uh, I actually listened to this book on Audible and I loved it because every different person Every person that read their part did a fabulous job acting it out. Everybody was perfect. Normally, when you listen on Audible, if you have somebody that's narrating and their voice just drones on and on, this definitely wasn't like that. Uh, I'm not a really fast reader, so I listen to most of my books on Audible, so I, I do highly recommend it. Uh, so yeah, the book isn't very long. It took me about um, 10 hours just to listen to, but it probably wouldn't take any time at all for someone to read it. Uh, we are huge fans of the Books and Booze podcast over at Universe, or Unusual Universe, and we are just so happy that um, we get the chance to share our books with you. Uh, I am a huge horror fan, so if anybody needs any more recommendations for horror, thriller novels, I have a million. Uh, so when you're done listening here at Books and Booze, make sure you come over to the Unusual Universe podcast. You can find us anywhere you listen to your podcast, and then you can send your scary stories to us at universe, or unusualuniversepod at gmail.com, and we would love to hear from you. Hi, this is Ali Hafkasik from the SSR podcast. I'm sending all my love to Kiara and everyone else affected by the floods from Brooklyn, New York City. 
Anybody who's listening right now already knows that Kiara is an amazing human. I feel so lucky to have connected to her a few months ago through Bookstagram, which is a whole new world to me. Kiara is supportive and kind and just a great friend, even to somebody like me who lives on the other side of the world. She was a guest on my book podcast a few months ago. Again, you should check it out. My podcast is called The SSR Podcast, and every week we talk about a book that most of us would have read when we were in middle school or high school. So she and I had a lot of fun talking about a YA novel. And we've just really connected over the last few months. Kiara, I'm so grateful for you. Also so grateful for the Books and Booze podcast. I can't wait to catch up on a few of the episodes that I've missed over the last few weeks while I'm traveling for the holidays over the next couple of weeks. I hope everybody's having a good holiday season. I am super excited to report that I recently fell in love with a seasonal book series that I'm enjoying a lot. It's called Winter Street and it's by Ellen Hildebrand. Most of her books are really summery and beachy, but this is all about the holiday season. It takes place in Nantucket, and it's about a family with four different children, four adult children, and all of the chapters are told from the perspective of different family members. So the first book in the series is called Winter Street. I'm now on book two, which is called Winter Stroll, and it's giving me lots of warm and fuzzy feelings and just really making me look forward to the rest of the holiday season. It's been such a long time, probably since I was a kid really, since I just like fell in love with a book series and was able to read from book to book to book so quickly, and that's exactly what's happening to me with the Winter Street series. So I would absolutely recommend it. If you're a fan of cheesy holiday movies, especially the ones on Hallmark Channel like I am, you're absolutely going to love these books. Another book that I love to read during this season is called Holiday on Ice by David Sedaris. I'm not usually into short stories and essays, but this is a staple of my holiday season. It's all just like hilarious stories about the holidays. The first one in the book is my favorite. It's all about a man who works as an elf at a department store North Pole set. And even if I go... Even if I don't get to read the whole book every holiday season, I always try to read that one because it makes me laugh out loud every time, and I try to get to a few other stories if I can, but we all know how busy the holidays can be. I'm going to be doing some traveling to visit family, hopefully eating lots of cookies and good food. We have a puppy named Irving. We call him Irv, and this is his first Christmas, so we're doing a lot of embarrassing things like making him wear elf hats and pose in front of Christmas trees and taking him all over New York City to check out the fun holiday sites. Clearly you don't have children and he is my child. Anyway, I hope everybody out there is having a cozy holiday season, staying safe and healthy. My love goes out to Kiara and everyone else affected by the flooding and happy holidays, everyone. My name is Mateo. I am currently reading Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter though I am only about 50 pages in. I have been in a thriller kick lately and have heard nothing but great things about this novel. This is also my first time reading a Karen Slaughter book, and I am really enjoying her writing style and the book's overall pacing. I actually like the multiple points of view choice here more than I have in some of the thrillers that I have read recently. Normally, I would say that I gravitate more towards strong, likable characters, But when it comes to thrillers, I enjoy a good, unreliable, messed up protagonist, and it seems that Pretty Girls will deliver in that regard. So far, I have to say that I am really happy with my choice of read for the week, and I am excited to see where the story might go. Hi, my name is Andrea, and this review is for The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. I have just finished reading two books in which the protagonist is an unreliable narrator so it just so happened that um, the book I read before this which was The Wife Between Us by two authors which I can't recall the names um, uh, share that in common with The Woman in the Window. Uh, The protagonist is sort of in a very emotionally difficult patch in her life uh, to put it lightly um likes to drink and sort of stay in and watch movies uh Hitchcock movies so This all adds to this sort of dark, mysterious theme throughout the book, which I really like. Um, I'm a fan myself of Hitchcock movies, so I really enjoyed all the references to the films. And the story itself is sort of uh, reminiscent of The Rear Window, where uh, the main character is sort of uh, housebound and bedridden and has nothing to do except spy on the neighbors, which is pretty much this book, um, except it's a woman and she's a psychologist and an agoraphobe. So there's a very interesting juxtaposition there with um, 
you know, she's used to helping people. And so she herself is kind of going through a really difficult time. Um, I thought the book was really well researched as someone who works in the mental health field. I really appreciated that the author knows sort of what, what they're talking about when they're describing um, a therapeutic session happening or other sort of things like that. I really, really like that. Um, I really, really love this book. And I, although the first 100 pages were a little bit slow, it was all set up. It was all set up and it paid off. And the last 200 pages, I couldn't put it down. I basically read it. Um, I read the two thirds of the book in maybe two days, which for me is fast. I know for some people, <laughs> they can probably read faster than that, but that was pretty fast for me. Uh, so if you're looking for a book that is sort of a whodunit, you like to put clues together, um, you enjoy the tension created by an unreliable narrator, then this is definitely a book you should read. Um, I actually picked it up because it was given a good review by uh, Gillian Flynn, who's one of my favorite authors, as well as Stephen King. So I knew it had to be good, and I was not disappointed. So you should read it. Hi, Kiara. This is Nat from Pickle Hearts Books. And I came on here to say that I really like your podcast and that I'm really sorry about what happened to your home. And I really hope that you can get it taken care of and that you've got family and friends who are there to support you. And if I could go over and fix it myself, I would, but I can't. So I am here doing this instead. And I hope that it helps a little bit. So what am I reading right now? I am reading The Living by Isaac Marion, which is the last book in the Warm Body series, which uh, the next books in the series I don't think really live up to the first one, but I am definitely enjoying it. I love the writing style and some of the characters I absolutely love reading about, but for some reason it's not the kind of book that I find myself wanting to sit down and read. Once I am sitting down and reading it, I do enjoy it. But when I'm not reading it, I always find other things that I would rather do than pick it up. So it's taking me a bit longer to read it than I would like. <laughs> what I'm watching currently is RuPaul's Drag Race on Netflix. I watched season eight and nine earlier in the year. And as soon as I saw that Netflix Canada added all the rest of the seasons except for season one, I jumped right on that. I'm almost done season four. I am so in love with it. I love absolutely everything about it. Highly recommend if you haven't checked it out. <laughs> and... For Christmas this year, this is actually my first time, I think, since ever working retail in high school that I have the whole week off between Christmas and New Year's. So it's pretty exciting. I just got the okay from my manager a few days ago that I could book off the week between Christmas and New Year's. So uh, if the weather holds up, I'm going to go visit my dad the day after Boxing Day for two days. And if it if it's too snowy, I'll stay home, but that's life. And we'll see how that goes. I'm just really, really excited to have a week off and relax, um, which is uh, definitely something that is needed when you work in retail. It gets really busy at Christmas time, and having a week to recharge would be excellent. It was my birthday yesterday as I record this. It was on December 8th, and I got some books for my birthday. So that's pretty exciting. My dad got me all of the um, Cormoran Strike series so far which is pretty exciting. My brother got me a book about someone who writes fan fiction, and that sounds like a lot of fun. And uh, my boyfriend is taking me to a hockey game next week, which is also exciting. I haven't been to a hockey game in a really long time. It's just OHL, which is just the Ontario Hockey League, so it's not like super majors or anything, but they're a lot of fun still to go to. And I guess that's all from me. And... I hope uh, everything gets sorted out for you really soon, and I hope you can enjoy your day and your week, and I hope you have a great Christmas. Bye! Thanks for listening to Books and Booze. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter under Books Booze Pod, or email us at hello at booksboozepod.com. We're also on Patreon if you'd like to support our podcast by donating as little as $2 a month. If you're looking for a free way to support us, then you can leave us a review on Apple iTunes or Stitcher. It really helps other people find us. As always, it's been a pleasure. I'm Jade, and you can follow my Instagram at boho underscore bookworm, and Kiara is my co-host, and you can find her under bookish.kiki. Until next time, happy reading and drink responsibly.